Hello everyone and welcome, it's me Inception7 and today we are gonna be talking about the new 5 star hero that's coming to the game Genshin Impact. We are gonna have a full detail, a full review, all the constellations, skills, the base attack, everything about Hu Tao. So let's check it out. Alright, first let's take a look at the stat progression. Here in this stat progression, you can see from the level 1 to the level 9, her base attack is going to be 15,552, her base attack is going to be 106, her base defense at level 90 is going to be 876, and she is all about critical damage. Her critical damage at level 90 is gonna be 88.4%. In the right side, you can check all the essential materials that she's gonna need to level up. As you can see, at the last level and all the other levels, she's gonna need this new material that you can get from the new boss. Here we can check information about her normal attack, Secret Spear of Wangshan. A normal attack performs up to 6 consecutive spear strikes, consumes a certain amount of stamina to launch forward dealing damage to opponents along the way, that's her charge attack. And her plunging attack plunges from media to strike the ground below, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. Here you can check all the stats about her first attack, second, third, 4th and 5th and 6th attack. We have very nice numbers here. We check at the last level, that's not bad. Alright, let's talk about her abilities. Parameter Papilio raises Hu Tao's attack based on her max HP. At the time of entering this stage, attack bonus gained this way cannot exceed 400 of Hu Tao's base attack. So basically, the more HP you have, the more base attack you're gonna have. Converts attack damage to pyro damage, which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion. That's nice. Her basic attack is gonna be like basic attack from Sucrose or maybe basic attack from Mona. Charge attacks apply the blood blossom effect to the enemy's hit. What is blood blossom effect? Increase Hu Tao's resistance to interruption. The blood blossom. Enemies affected by Blood Blossom will take Pyro damage every 4 seconds. This damage is considered elemental skill damage. So basically, you can apply this effect, Blood Blossom, and then switch to other characters. Each enemy can be affected by only one Blood Blossom effect at a time, and its duration may only be refreshed by Hu Tao herself. Paramita Papilio ends when its duration is over, or Hu Tao has left the battlefield or fallen. You can check here. The activation cost. You have also a uh, attacking craze. Those are the numbers at level 15. The blood blossom damage, which is not bad. The blood blossom duration, so 8 seconds. And every 4 seconds, it deals pyro damage, so basically twice. Blood blossom duration. And the cooldown, it's about 16 seconds. Now we're gonna be talking about the Spirit Shooter. Commands a blazing spirit to attack, dealing pyro damage and a large AoE. That's the ultimate attack, that's the elemental explosion. Upon striking the enemy, regenerates a percentage of Hu Tao's max HP. So that's nice. You have a heal here, a self heal. This effect can be triggered up to 5 times based on the number of enemies hit. If Hu Tao's HP is below or equal, to 50% when the enemies hit, both the damage and the HP regeneration are increased. So you have more effects during the explosion if you have uh, less HP. Here are the damage. It's skill damage and if you are below 50% it's 764 at level 15. That's a very nice increase of damage. So basically you load out the HP, use the Spirit Shooter and then you get back your HP. Here is the e skill HP regeneration. The low HP skill regeneration. So you have a different skill regeneration. So if you are not below 50% you have like 
12.64%, but if you are below 50%, you have 16.95%. So I imagine the playstyle of this character is gonna be like she is uh, below 50%, and then she uses skill, she gets above 50%, and then she uses skill and she gets below 50%, and then she uses another skill and get above 50%. Her HP is gonna be something that's gonna go down and go up all the time and she has her all uh, her own self heal so she's gonna be like an individual character that's not gonna need any healer that's that's how it looks to me the cooldown is 15 seconds and the energy cost is 60 that's not bad here we can check all the materials that we need in order to upgrade her talents and let's talk about her passive talents when Hu Tao cooks a dish, buffer dish, she has an 18% chance to receive an additional suspicious dish of the same time. When Paramita Papilla state activated by Guide to Afterlight is over, all allies in the party, excluding Hu Tao herself, will have that critical hit increase by 12% for 8 seconds. It means it's possible, maybe not the best option, but it's possible to use Hu Tao as a bot DPS because she increases critical hit. It's very good, for example, if you use her with the look. When Hu Tao's HP is equal to or less than 50%, her pyro damage bonus is increased by. That's awesome. That's very good because she's gonna be like that most of the time, and when she is like that, she's gonna have a damage bonus of 33%. That's a lot. So let's talk about her constellations. Her first constellations, uh, Crimson Bucket. While in Paramita Papilio state activated by Guide to Afterlife, Hutao charge attacks do not consume stamina. Well, that's okay. Increase the Blood Blossom damage by the amount equal to 10% of Hutao's max HP. The time the effect is applied, additional Spirit Shooter will also apply the Blood Blossom effect. That's very nice. That's a very good constellation. The third one increase the level of Guide to Afterlife by 3. Um, the fourth, upon defeating an enemy affected by Blood Blossom that Hutao applied herself, all Nurb Alice in the party, excluding Hutao herself, will have their critical hit increase by 12% for 15 seconds. That's very nice. It combos with the Flutter Buy. So, Basically, you can increase 12% of critical hit when Paramita Papilla stage activated by Guide to Afterlife is over, and you can also increase 12% of all the party members upon the feature enemy effect by Blood Blossom. So, at the constellation 4, at the C4, you can apply the buff uh, in two different situations. Increase the level of Spirit Suitor by 3, alright, and the last one, the Butterfly Embrace. Triggers when Hotel's HP drops below 25%, that's very risk, or when she suffers a little strike. Hotel will not fall as a result of the damage sustained. Additionally, for the next 10 seconds, all of her elemental and physical resistance is increased by 12%, and her critical hit is increased by 100%, and her resistance to interruption is greatly increased. This effect triggers automatically when Hu Tao has 1 HP left. Even if it only occurs every 6 seconds, it's massive. It's a very awesome skill. She becomes a god when she is close to death. That's a very, very nice skill. But anyway, it's a C6 constellation. It's the last constellation of the card, but it's very nice. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoy it, like and subscribe. We also have live streams at twitch.tv slash inception7. See you in the next video or maybe at Twitch. Bye bye.